This is Call Sign Omega, and I love Airsoft. My first game was on September 12, 2010, and it was life changing. Since 2012, I've been heavily involved in the management of Harris Farm Airsoft Field, which has expanded significantly in attendance, equipment, infrastructure, and the quality of the events that take place on our 55 acre area of operations. So now, Airsoft in Southern Maine is about to expand even further. Last summer, I was asked by Andy Cole to help build up his new field that's located only three and a half miles away from Harris. I was skeptical at first, but fell in love with the property after taking a tour. Cole's Family Farm Airsoft Field has 58 acres of magnificent airsoft playing area. There are mature trees, hills, gullies, brooks, irrigation trenches, trails, bridges, forts, large parking areas, a firing range, and a huge valley in the middle that features rows of Christmas trees and a pond. We are allowed to use all of it. Andy Cole has already invested tremendously in his field and wants us to enjoy playing there. I want you all to know that I'm still fully committed to Harris and have negotiated with the owners of both fields for a way to coexist amicably rather than competing against each other or splitting our local airsoft community. My interest is to benefit you, the players. It turns out that the owners actually do not want both fields to be open on the same days. Therefore, during 2023, from May through September, we are trying a pattern of having Coles open on the first Saturday of the month and Harris open on the remaining Saturdays of each month. Always check the websites to verify which field to go to instead of showing up at the wrong place. But if that ever happens, you can always get to the other field in just a five minute drive. I'm confident that all of this is a good thing. We are keeping things fresh, exciting, and evolving for all of you. Now you have two massive AOs to play in. Who would have thought that Dayton, Maine would become an airsoft hub? You're gonna love what we have planned for you at both fields. This year, you're gonna see new structures and new game modes. The prison at Harris was vastly expanded and actually looks like a prison now with longer fences, four gates, guard houses, and larger buildings. Fort Harris, Jekyll's Hold, and other sites have also received major upgrades. At the new revitalized Coles Field, you will see improvements to Fort Hood and Fort Campbell. Also back in November, we started expanding into the new larger northern half of the Coles AO with the construction of Fort Bragg. Andy Cole has a lot of powerful construction equipment, so the possibilities are limitless. He's a really nice guy and is also allowing us to run events on more than just Saturdays. This year, you will see ops with phases that sometimes take place on Friday nights, Saturdays, Saturday nights, and or Sundays. We also have the option to run some 24 to 48 hour mill sims if we want. Andy is welcoming us to camp on his property and he even bought some generators so that we can have electricity on the field. There will be a huge new command tent and lots of other surprises this year. I am very excited about Harris and Coles. I'm pouring everything I have into making these places awesome while still keeping the admission price among the lowest in New England. I am asking you all to please join me in supporting both fields equally so that they can continue to grow, which will be more fun for all of us. Game on, game on, game is on.